sounds like a weird interview. Hello, I'm Joe and I'm a... I'm currently working at the Oxcast, a big old Twitch, YouTube, multi-channel network thing. So you know, I work a lot with creators, doing a lot of, you know, branding, stream assets, merch. So I don't know, if, if you're into that kind of stuff, stick about. If not, you're, you're free to go. I mean, I can't be. I'm stuck here. This is my life. I can't. But you can go. Uh, starting with a showreel feels a little weird. I don't know, man. I thought it was pretty good. But then again, you could say I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, ah, ah. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Breakfast Stream with Joe. I rock up with no clue what I'm doing, and that that's the stream. I got an Amazon package. I'm, I'm just gonna open that, because I don't know what's in it. I'm hoping it's my journal. Could be anything. We got big, big old, big old box. I d it is my journal. It is my journal. New year, new journal, and also a motherboard. How exciting! I haven't got a CPU to go in it, but at least we've got got the motherboard, right? The smell of a new journal is just something else. Truly something else. <laughs> the, the year is 2021. We made it. <laughs> uh, so, so I was clearing out my, my PC basically for start of the new year. I, I found this, my old dissertation titled, are there recognizable criteria for creating successful online video content. Bit of a mouthful. Um, and it's kind of looking at what what makes a good video. And I kind of looked at it more from like a, a content perspective rather than the weird stuff like, I don't know, SEO or <laughs> thumbnails and trends and all that kind of stuff. Just focused on what the video is. In it, I kind of derived that all successful content can kind of fit into one of six categories. And often they fit into more than just the one. I mean, a lot of these are self-explanatory. Maybe I'll, I'll make a, a video later in the year going more in depth on specifics. But anyway, re-reading through this, I don't know, cause it's, I, I wrote it like two, three years ago and re-reading it now that I'm, I'm working in an industry which is online content. I make my own online content. I don't know, it's, a sh it's a shift in perspective, which is kind of interesting. Basically, I kind of feel that I often overthink a lot of stuff that I make, um, especially like my own stuff, like making stuff for other people. That's fine, I don't tend to. When, I, when I'm making stuff for myself and when I'm producing stuff for myself, I tend, I tend to overthink and it just all becomes a bit too meta what I'm doing. And it's all a bit weird. I end up making content, talking about making content. <sighs> what? <laughs> but now sort of looking back at what I sort of outlined as like six principles to creating something good, it's taking a lot of pressure off me because I feel whatever I make, as long as I feel I'm hitting those criteria, I feel I'm doing a, I'm doing a good. I'm doing a good. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's the start of the year. I've not got anything on at the moment. I've just I've had two weeks off to chill. I've been chilling. 
got no projects on really at the moment. So I got nothing to talk about. Does anyone have anything to talk about? We've all been in lockdown. Nothing's new. 